But what is this? Is that an onion? That looks like an onion. I don't know what that is. I actually don't know what that is. That confuses me. Hey everyone, this is Egos, and today I will be taking a first look at Aldavas Doors of Cartagena. Um, this is not an unboxing per se, but against the first look because I already took a look, a quick look at the insides here. Um, but I haven't taken a detailed look yet, so it will still be exciting for all of us to take a look at this. Um, this is a game that was funded on Kickstarter. I wanted to back it, but then I actually won a pledge in a giveaway, which is really cool. So shout out to Shelf Clutter for hosting that giveaway back then and also of course to Grand Gamers Guild. Um, and yeah, it's great that I won that and it just arrived a little while ago. So let's take a look at um, the game. This is a pretty cool puzzly game that takes place in Cartagena, so to speak. Um, this is in Colombia and there the doors speak, so to, so to, so to speak. So, um, so they have like these very large knockers um, adorning them. And in Spanish colonial times, these knockers announce your occupation and your social status. Uh, that is a pretty cool idea. And it's a pretty cool idea to make um, a game um, around that, um, that idea. So let's take a look. Let's open it first. It got a little bit damaged here during transport, as you can see also here. Unfortunately, um, I'm already in contact with them to see if we can do anything. Maybe I can rectify it myself. Let's see. But apart from that, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks pretty cool, right? You see that it's um, like printed this way here. So, all right, so let's start first. So first of all, we have um, the rules book as usual. So let's take a look. We have the components here. Not a whole lot of components, right? We have like one board. We have um, door cards, coins, score markers, and the vault cards, and that's all we have. Um, this is pretty cool because um, it supports up to four players, but it also has a solo mode. Um, so let's see. All right, so a oh, pretty thick rule book, like thick pages, I like that. Okay, place a door, door placement. I think that is, yeah, it looks like it's explained pretty well here. Scoring. Ah, and that's the Alibus Solidad. That's the solo mode. Um, okay. The solo mode doesn't seem too complex either. Um, so do you only have your own vault or do you have a, oh, you have a rival vault as well. Oh, that takes up a lot of space because I would like to record a playthrough of this, um, of this game. But if it takes up that much space, I need to see if I can capture that on camera. Might be a little bit small, but then again, the images here are quite large. So could be possible to actually record that. Okay, and then we have an explanation here. So we have different colors, we have different symbols, we have different knockers. So there's a few different things to keep track of. Okay, but these are the different knockers we have, like builders, clergy, nobles, um, fishers, and soldiers. So, okay, pretty cool. But I like the style at least, so that's pretty good. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so let's take a look at the main thing, right? The cards first. Let me put that a little bit to the side here. So we have a little bit more room here. Okay, so the cards. One thing that is interesting is the cards um, are not linen finish or anything. They're just regular cards. Kind of regular because these are, you probably can't see it well, but these are really, these are really thick. And this is why they are pretty sturdy. Um, I don't know how they behave if you shuffle them more often. I think sleeving them would still be a good idea, but they are pretty thick. I have not often seen cards this thick. It's like almost like like card stock that we, we, that we would use for player boards or anything, right? So that's pretty that's pretty interesting here. I don't wanna bend it too much. But let's take a look at those. Um, look at these, they're pretty colorful. I really like those, right? You have the yellow and red, blue, um, like different colors here. Um, and also you have these knockers, right? These are, I think, for the fighters here. Um, these also for the fighters. Then you have the fishermen. I saw them right here with the fish here. And um, here, the other two fish. And that's pretty cool. Well done. And also you have these symbols here in the top left. These um, these tell you which occupation they are. Uh, they are, and each occupation has then different knockers here also, and that is important because they give you different bonuses here at the bottom, as you can see, like different abilities. I think they have a specific cost or whatever um, you need to pay, um, and then they give you specific abilities here. 
Um, and yeah, there are quite a lot of cards here. That is pretty cool. So yeah, I like the style of those. And the back is pretty cool too, because you have like, well, I mean, it's about door knockers, right? So you have like just doors um, at the back of the card. So that's pretty cool as well. So yeah, I like that. I like that style a lot. Um, also, there is like a uh, new uh, an expansion in here. I think that was part of a stretch goal, um, but I'm not I'm not hundred percent certain about that. And there is a mini expansion with new professions. So the, there are like twenty seven more door cards with with three more um, professions. So I think it would make sense. Let's say you know how the game works and the game is simple enough, then it may more, more, probably make sense to just shove them in there and just keep them in there, right? Um, if you can do that, because that's just more replayability and more scoring also more scoring conditions and new powers and everything so that's pretty cool um all right then let's continue here so regularly no normally you would have let me see here normally you would have like these um these cardboard coins here um but in the deluxe edition which i uh, which i fortunately won and um, we have these wooden coins here instead. And you know how I love great components and these look really cool. See this here? These look really cool. I just don't know. I mean, that's that's like some king kind of guy. Okay, that's cool. But what is this? Is that an onion? That looks like an onion. I don't know what that is. I actually don't know what that is. That confuses me. I would have to look that up because that really intrigues me now. Um, but these are cool. These are really cool. Like uh, these are pretty light, which is nice. So you can handle them nicely. Um, they are really light and you can just yeah, these are just nicer than cardboard of course. I love components like that and then you have like made from cardboard you have like these small um, these small tokens where you track your points and for tracking your points um, There's one thing that is pretty well done um, when I when I um, Unbox it the first time for myself. I saw that so you have like this unfortunately you can't stick it together but you have like this um, row here, and this is where you put the cards that you can purchase, right? Like this. Yeah, you put them right here, and then you see what they cost. Um, plus, uh, so they cost always what is indicated up here, right? So this card would not cost three, that would cost two, that one, and these would be free. Um, but when you're done with the game, what you then actually do is then you will have your vault at the end. I will speak about that in a minute. And then you will just turn that around here. And let me see, like this. And then you have your scoring, your scoring bar. And then you just take these guys here. You just take your scoring marker and then you just go down here. Um, could be that you're not seeing the numbers too well. There you go. That's, I think that's a little better. Um, so that is pretty cool. I like that idea a lot. Um, that's a cool idea. So you don't need as many, um, you don't need too many components for that. You just turn that around and done. That is pretty, pretty well done. I like that. And then what you also have, which is the last thing, is these vault cards here. And this is pretty much the, yeah, that's the main, the center of, the center of attraction in this game because on the back you see like a little overview again you need that at the end and i think you can also do it in between and you have like this vault card and you put that in the lower left in your play area and then you place like the cards in a grid like this right and you play them in a grid like this here and when that grid is full then the game also ends and that is pretty cool that you puzzle everything together and there are certain um, certain conditions you have to um, keep in mind when placing these door cards and everything. And then um, you try to have the most influence over a specific profession, I think. And then you um, can get points and win the game. So that is pretty cool. Um, I haven't played the game yet. I haven't had the time to do so yet. But I, of course, plan on, plan on playing it soon. But not only that, I also would like to record for the channel, as I said, but I am not 100% sure yet whether or not I can actually make that because it does seem to need quite a lot of space, like this kind of space times two. So I would have to pull up the camera quite a lot. It's possible, but I don't know how well you could see anymore then. So I'll have to see. But I would love to record that for my channel. I think I will find a way to record it somehow. Um, that would be great. Okay, and that is my 
first look at Alabas Doors of Cartagena um, or slash unboxing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you know the game or if you have also uh, backed it and you received it, maybe already played it, let me know. I would love to see what you, I would love to hear what you think about the game. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Um, if this is the first of my videos you're seeing, why don't you head over to my channel and check out all the other stuff I've posted there. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the very next video. All right, take care everyone and cheers.